Good morning, loved ones. I hope you've had a good night's sleep. I didn't. I've been so tired today. Uh, everyone I know who has children told me that you don't know what tiredness is before you got kids. And I feel like I'm starting to understand what they mean. I do think as a cocaine addict, you know, like a recovering one, uh, I kind of knew tired before. Because when you've been up for many days in a row, you're kind of tired too. <laughs> different tired. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's a different um, exhaustion. And I also guess, you know, I'm just in the beginning of it. It's going to get worse. Uh, so um, it's just a taste of it right now. <laughs> But it is like, you know, when you sleep with a, with a baby um, in your room, um, I sleep with one eye open, you know, like not literally, but, but uh, it's like your, your ears are so sharp and, and you're so attentive um, that the resting is very secondary. Uh, I feel like I get, I, I, you know, I fall asleep by exhaustion sometimes, but but it's not because, you know, I'm so, it's not like a very deep sleep, but I think every mother has gone through the same thing. Um, so I'm very grateful that I've slept a lot in my life before, <laughs> because uh, I won't know how that is in, in a, some time now, I think. Uh, I'm very grateful for the amazing support I have around me. Uh, that I, this morning, for example, I got the 30 minutes sleep, you know, on my own when my boyfriend took the boys to school and he brought her there. Um, I'm also very, very grateful to have such a healthy baby. Uh, she seems, uh, the, the, the nurse was here today to check out our, our home environment and, uh, and the, her, you know, weight curve and she's, she's, um, she passed Penny now. Now, she, now Penny's again the smallest one in the family. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so I'm very grateful to have a you know, healthy and, and thriving baby. Um, I'm also very grateful to, to start to get the feeling of having my body back. It's still, you know, it's been 12 days since she got out and, and I, I start to fit into my old clothes and um, and trousers, and uh, that's a wonderful feeling. I my body was was hard uh, pregnant. It wasn't strong. I've been strong my whole life. It wasn't um, it wasn't the best, you know. I feel like some people have their prime when they're pregnant. I'm absolutely not one of those people. So I'm really happy to start to feel like I'm recovering my, my regular body. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful feeling to, to start to get strength in my hands again and, uh, and start to feel a contact. You know, when I breathe in, I can feel like, you know, there is something connecting and um, magic. Also, when I walk in the forest, you know, I have like a you know, there's a jump in my step. Like, it's not like, uh, uh, uh. it's some energy going on. It's wonderful. Um, we have such an amazing ambiance in the house right now. The boys are so proud to be big brothers and, uh, and it's just a lot of joy, uh, which is, I think, the best environment for a newborn. And also for, for the siblings, you know, they, they already have fun together and she's like 12 days old. Um, so that is such a blessing. I feel so happy for that. Um, and also Penny, you know, she's wonderful. She's so caring and not jealous. She's like coming with the uh, toys and, uh, and the cuddling her up when she's crying and so I feel like we're very blessed at the moment and um, and for me becoming, you know, a mother at such a late, like, late in life, it's, um, it's magical. 
Uh, yeah, let's do some yoga. Uh, also, I was speaking to my patrons about this um, before, like, uh, apparently I should take it really, really easy. I, you know, I get like inspired when I start to feel my body again, but uh, it is like an open wound inside me. Uh, so I, I really shouldn't, you know, go too far yet. So it's going to be very slow classes, a little bit longer. I'm gonna try to keep it to a month at least but you know you know me <laughs> but I'm really trying to take it easy and um, and uh, for for my health you know and for the the coming uh, challenge day 1001 today yeah big applause boss okay let's uh, ground ourselves get down on your sitting bones and straighten the back up Observe your breath and where in your body your breath is located. We're going to start taking control over our breath. So on the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. On the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. We're gonna do the hip row together with this breath. So inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale And we're going to switch direction.
beautiful. We're gonna come down on our back. With your legs like this on the exhalation, come up on the inhalation, down. Exhale up, inhale down. Place your feet as close to your butt as possible, hip width apart. On the inhalation, come up. On the exhalation, down. Hug your knees and go a little bit back and forth. You know, this is what I do. I tell you I can't do anything and here I am working my abs. Oh. That's just how I am. Fine. I remember when I was newly sober, I got obsessed with climbing. And I started to get pain in my joints, you know, for like over, over working them. What are we going to do forward bend here? Inhale up, exhale bend forward and breathe. So um, I had to put a limit on how much I could go climbing. This is what I have to do now. I have to put a limit on how much I can push myself in the yoga. It's so cool when you start to feel the strength again and, you know, like starting to, to recognize your body that hasn't been there the last nine months. So, yeah, probably going to be hardcore yoga this fall. <laughs> it's what it is. I can breathe. Let's uh, finish this class with a short meditation. Get down from your sitting bones and straighten up your back. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows that third eye looking inwards. Let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you'll find an inner room where you're going to spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this moment. Yoga Nushasanam 
Place your palms together in front of your heart and inhale to start. Shanti. your heart for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to other people. Namaste. Thank you so much for today. Remember to go out there and give. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.